Good morning. I didn't get my makeup blended too well. Oh well. I look like a puppet. <laughs> okay. Rise and shine, everybody. We got things to do. People to see. Me. <laughs> Good morning. Let's get some peoples in here. Let's get some peoples. I kind of grab up some cards to write on. We're doing... Did everybody see my little uh, weekly home blessing solitaire yesterday? That was fun. Weekly home blessing solitaire was fun. I got a lot of things done. I had to turn my air conditioner down a couple of uh, degrees because I worked up a sweat. Did y'all get your blessings done yesterday? My house looks pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, we got 100 people in here. Let's see what we're going to talk about today. Habit of the month. The habit of the month is doing a load of laundry every day. A load of laundry every day. Then, this week we're in our kitchen. Kitchen. We got some kitchen missions, wiping down cabinets, all kinds of things. I've been decluttering. Oh my, have I been decluttering in my kitchen. I'm not big on... Uh, clutter. I've been looking at things through some different eyes. You know, if I were to move into a tiny house, what would I take with me? I have friends who are downsizing. What would you take with you if you were going to move into an apartment from a, you know, 3,000 square foot house? What would you take with you when it comes to your kitchen stuff? What's your favorite dishes? You know, I got some dishes I probably need to let go of. I got a, a place setting for probably 24 people with black dishes. I love my black amethyst dishes. But have I ever used them for 24 people? Nope. Am I ever going to use them for 24 people? I doubt it because I probably pull out the paper plates. So let's think about things from that standpoint. Can, do you love it? Well, I love them. But have I used them? No, I've used the bowls, but I haven't used the plates. So let's think about things. Am I going to go in there and get rid of all my amethyst dishes? Maybe, but I don't know. I hadn't decided yet. But I probably will because they take up a lot of space. So decluttering by zone really helps us to get, get things out of our house that we don't love and we don't use and we don't need. So bless someone else with your abundance and you're going to be so surprised at, at how. Yeah, I got purple on purple today. Didn't think about it, but yep, I did it. Now. We've been trying to um, come up with declutter missions. So, help me come up with some things to declutter out of our kitchens. Yesterday we had a great, great list. I'm going to put dishes down. Dishes. Declutter. Dishes. You don't use. And if you get new dishes, you need to get rid of some old dishes. That's my problem. I don't really get rid of things. If I get new dishes, I don't usually get rid of them. But I have red dishes that I use every day. But I have a, my set of china. And I have this set of black dishes. 
Okay, dishes. Outdated spices. That's a good one. That's a real good one. Mugs. Yeah, I can. I, every time I get a new mug, I have to get rid of two old ones. Mugs. Okay. Uh, I did ratty dish towels yesterday. I did that. Ratty dish towels. Now, you know we got new dish towels in the fly shop. They are wonderful dish towels. I don't know if I got one here. Yep. They're waffle weave dish towels. Can you see that? These have been laundered. And they are absolutely wonderful. They And they're 20% discount right now with coupon code CONTROL913. So get rid of ratty dish towels. That's three things to declutter. Yay. Okay. Now, I need your help. I need your help. Okay, so we need some pamper missions. I'm not a girly girl, so I don't really get the girly girl stuff. But I like to do, you know, maintenance. So plucking chin hairs and keeping your eyebrows. This summer, I've been letting my eyebrows grow in a little. Uh, just... It's taken all summer to get them to grow in where I had overplucked. Have you ever been uh, guilty of overplucking? Yep, it happens. Oh, Tupperware is a good one. I have three pieces of Tupperware, and that's all I have. Yep. Well, no, I have four. I have one that's for eggs. So I need three pamper missions. Cleaners and detergents. Okay, we're changing the subject. Condiment packets. Yep, we get that pedicure. Now, you got to soak your feet and then you got to give yourself a, a pedicure. Wax your legs. Well, I shave my legs every time I'm in the bathtub. So, foot care. If you wearing your shoes, the camera keeps getting out of focus a little bit. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's because I'm getting close up. Put appliances up that we don't use well. Mixing bowls. Okay, let's get on to pampering missions, y'all. I've done three or four. Uh, keep If you keep posting on Liz and Patty will come up with, give me the list. Put lotion on your legs. Lotion. I like coconut oil. I use a lot of coconut oil to get my dry legs. I haven't really worn capris much this summer, but I have them on today. Oatmeal and honey face mask. You know, that would just kill me. It really would. The oatmeal wouldn't be bad, but honey, <clears throat> I'm allergic. Uh, let's see. I have flip-flops today. Going to the pool. Oh, well, flip-flops are allowed if you're going to the pool. Morning walk, morning walk, take a walk, a walk, I like that, even if it's just around your house and in your own garden, okie dokie, uh, <clears throat> nice, well see, I got up and it looks like this, and I'm not bragging, I went to bed, uh, I washed it day before yesterday, and I went to bed day before yesterday with it sort of wet. And yesterday morning, it was sticking straight up. And this morning, it looks like this. Can't, uh, I love coconut oil. You can put coconut oil, coconut oil on your hair and on your face, and I put a little, hand, little dollop of it in my bath water. You got to be careful. I have to leave the coconut oil bin in the tub. To remind me that it could be slick. So you gotta you gotta be careful with things. Uh, well, Jennifer, I think that's a wonderful thing. 
Call a friend. A friend. That's a good one. That's a good one. Don't ever allow, take a walk, put lotion on legs. Those goes in the pamper pile. As Rebecca taught me, always end a conversation with I love you. And Robert will walk in the door. He said, who are you telling you love? I said, well, that's Rebecca. That's Justin. You know, it's just whoever I've talked to on the phone, I always end it with I love you. And Miss Rebecca taught me that. I took a nap yesterday afternoon after I did my weekly home blessing. And I didn't mean to, but I slept for almost an hour and a half on the couch, which I felt like a slug when I got through. But hey, it was it was good. It was raining and it was good. Okay, so let's keep going with, we haven't, um, I want you to think about something today. We have all these terrible fires in California and Colorado, you know, places where it's dry. You know, it could be dry at your house. All it takes is, you know, three weeks without rain and you could be in the fire area. What are, are in Pittsburgh, there was a train derailment. You know, there's, there's stuff in the news all the time. Could you evacuate your home with the stuff you need if you got the call? You know, reverse 911 calls everybody and tells them to evacuate. If you got a call or the police came through your neighborhood with loudspeakers saying, you need to leave now. Do not grab anything. Leave now. Now, to me, that means you got to grab your pets. I'm not going to leave my pets behind. That's a terrible thing to do to your pets because they can't get out of the house. So I would have to grab. Do you know where your kennel is to put the critters in the kennel? I don't have a kennel big enough for one of my dogs, but he would grad, gladly get in the truck. The truck becomes the kennel because it has a cab on the back. It has a camper on the back. So let could you evacuate easily? What would you take with you? We have the 11 points of preparedness on our, um, the 11 P's. I, I did an alliteration with, with all these P's. Your prescriptions, your pets, your purse. You know, could you do all of this? And many things can be replaced, but you need to be comfortable. You know, do you have uh, pampers for the for the baby? You just, that's not in there, but I just thought of it. Uh, do you have what you need to be able to evacuate your house? Do you have a go bag? Do you have some water and some peanut butter crackers and some different things in there that you could, you know, help with, with keeping children satisfied if they're in a emergency situation. So let's think about, <clears throat> think about what you would take with you. Now, many of our pictures are on Facebook, so we wouldn't lose our pictures anymore, but pictures before 2000, before, you know, bef you might lose those. So do you have a hard drive that they're all on? Do you have, um, the other day, we were driving, Friday night, we were driving past the office and we noticed a big water. I, I don't know if I already told you or not. I might have yesterday. I've slept since then, twice. Uh, <clears throat> we were driving past this water that was piling up on the road at the office and it was raining and not bad raining, but it was raining and this water had just pooled up right at the stop sign. And I said, you know, if I had a shovel, I'd dig that out so it would drain right into the creek because it was an outlet that had gotten piled up with debris and grass. And so the water was dammed up. And I said, I do have a shovel. It's in my emergency kit in the truck. I have one of those fold-up military shovels. And Robert said, if you'll get it out, I'll dig, it out, dig the trench. And, you know, the two of us dug the trench. 
they dug and I watched. <laughs> but I got it out and then I wiped it off and put it back where I had it in my backpack in the trunk of my truck. Yes, my truck has a trunk. It's a wonderful thing. So having things that are that you need in emergencies. Why do I have a shovel in my truck? Well, I might have to pull off on a on a road sometime when I'm traveling taking uh taking a um the road less traveled and the morning coffee kick in and you have to go potty and you can't find a bathroom. So I have toilet paper, I have ba- I have bottom wipes, I have uh, the shovel to be able to cover things up. You know, when you hike, you got to do stuff sometimes. So do you have an emergency bag? This is going to help you. Having this emergency bag is going to help you be able to be calm. I mean, one time our house caught on fire. That's not a fun thing. It's really not a fun thing. But we got struck by lightning and we were able to evacuate. Robert had retired just a few months before and he was home and he was in his basement. And when the lightning hit a tree out in the woods, it was instant thunder. When you hear instant thunder from a big clap of lightning, you know, you you can hear the lightning, not just hear the thunder, you can hear the lightning hit something. The lightning hit a tree, the roots of the tree, went to the fence, the fence came to the house, and the house, at the end of the fence, the fence jumped, the lightning jumped from the fence six inches to a nail. And it came in the house, and from that nail, it got to the duck work on our on our heating and air conditioning system follow the ductwork to the unit, blew a hole in the Freon tube and it went and I heard it and Michelle heard it and we looked at each other and I hollered down in the basement, are you okay? And Robert said, call 911, we have fire. And sure enough, we did. But we had an uh, we had a fire extinguisher downstairs. We have one at the top of the stairs. We have one at the bottom of the stairs, and we have one at in the underneath the kitchen sink that I keep open so that I can get to easily. <clears throat> so you see, having being ready for an emergency. I was able to wheel my computer back. I called 911. Michelle got the dogs out. I got the cats out. I rolled my bag out on the porch with my computer. And we went and got in our cars waiting for the fire department to get here. By that time, Robert had put his stuff in his car. And we were, we were, he had put the fire out. But we still had to have the fire department come. Now, we got to do a, you can have to evacuate for lots of reasons. Riots, train derailment, explosions of factories, flooding, hurricanes, tornadoes. You probably have to pretty much stay in place with a tornado. And you know where to go when you got a tornado? To an in- interior room with no windows or a basement area. And always take a blanket with you and maybe a mattress and some pillows to cover up with. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to take... This is 20 tiles I have in here that Robert made for me. You could use popsicle sticks. You could use lots of things. I got to get it open. But these are our basic stuff we do every day. They're our morning routine, our before bed routine, our afternoon routine, weekly home blessing. It's all in here. 
Now, I live in a forest, and that was one of the things that we had a, when we put the servers in our basement, Michael taught me how to pull the hard drives out of the servers and get out of the house. We don't have the servers in our basement anymore, and that's great. Um, but we, I knew how to, I knew what to do to keep our website from being down. Now our servers are in, I think they're in Greenville, South Carolina. I know they're in Greenville, South Carolina. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm going to pull one and we're going to talk about this one habit. I'm throwing this one back in because there's not much to talk about here. But no, maybe I'll talk about it. This is part of our weekly home blessing. And every day we get mail coming in our house. And you know what we do with the mail? We pile it up on a hot spot. Well, this is declutter magazines. Now, if you have a huge supply of magazines and catalogs that are coming into your house and lots of mail, then there are ways to stop that stuff from coming in your house. You can go to their websites and ask to be removed from their mailing list, or you just deal with them as they come in the house and put them in your recycle bin. I have a bag. It is a canvas bag that I put these things in. And my coffee table stays clear. And I am so happy when I get up in the morning the pillows are on my couch just so, so I love them. Um, they are, the coffee table's clear. I've got two candlesticks and a pretty glass bowl there. And it's wonderful. If you're going to donate magazines to people, be sure and take your address label off of them. Don't leave your address label on there. It's not a good idea to leave that in a public place, you're giving people the address to your house. So don't do that. Then, uh, you know, decluttering those magazines, if you do them as they come in the house and as soon as you read them, if it's a girly girl magazine, keep it by your chair and when you read it, don't hold on to it. Bless someone else with it or recycle it. That is, you know, that magazines and catalogs piled up make our home look messy. Those are our those are on our hot spots. So we have to stay on top of them all the time. Now, let me talk about a little bit about um our special deals we got going on. Silver rags are half price. They're a great deal. Half price. I think it's 7.47. For three rags and I use these things for windows and elbows and glasses I clean my glasses with them all the time keep one by my chair all the time these things and they're such a good price right now if you you're gonna be a secret Santa get your your little little you're you can be the little elf and get some of these for Christmas right now because they won't be on sale like this again until next year because we only do these once a year. Then we have the multi wand. It's 12 bucks. It's 12 bucks. This you can use a discount on and it'll be less than $10 when you get it. It's a great gift too. This part unscrews and you can attach it to our mop handle and wow, you have got some reach then. And it gets things done. It's going to become an essential part in my bathroom cleaning, I believe. I think I'm going to get an extra. I've got to get Justin to bring me one uh, and put it in my bathroom so that I can get behind the toilet easily. Look at this. It's an extra two feet. And if I put it on the mop handle, it's even longer than that. We haven't put an end date on it. It's kind of like our summer sale. I like having things on sale for you. I really do. I think it's, y'all are so sweet. And then we have a, we sell stuff till it runs out. 
we have our extra large mop. I did my floors with this mop, yes, not this one, but with one like it. And you know what I like best about this mop? I like best about this mop, and I just noticed it yesterday, is this Velcro. You don't even need this thing on here because the Velcro holds the microfiber cloth in place. I wish my sheets had Velcro. Right there. I may redesign this thing. And this really does work. The Velcro holds it in place. I love it. Let's see if I can pull it off. How cool is that? Anyway. This thing is $15.98, I believe. It's half price. Get it now. It's a great tool. Now we're out of the extra mop cloths, but we're gonna get some of those in and when we do, they'll be half priced and you can stock up them. But I just rinsed mine out and hung it out on the back deck yesterday when I, after I did my floors. Let's see what else we got going on here. Oh, 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 oh. oh you, there's a 20, the 20% discount code I've already told you, but it's control. 913. 913. Control. That's all we really want. We want to be in control and we can get in control of our house. We have to do it though. We can't expect anybody else to do it for us. You just have to get it done and stay on top of it because it's much easier to keep house than it is to clean house. And when we do our daily maintenance, which is the things in this jar, because it's more than just cleaning house. It's taking care of you too. That, it's more, you know, it's taking your vitamins and doing all that. Yesterday, I posted a link about <clears throat> a, a link to a list that you could print out and make your own little jar. Just like take a peanut butter jar and fold everything up cut it up and put it all in it's a list of about 24 items some of the things are in there more than once because we have to attack our hot spots and do all these things it makes it fun yesterday i put all seven cards down on the table and just flipped them over like little mikey's game and we got i got my home blessed I couldn't do it with y'all while I was walking you through it during the video yesterday morning. So I had to do it yesterday afternoon. And that was probably the first time I've done a whole weekly home blessing in years because I usually do one a day, but I did it all at once. Feather Duster, we got a new supply of them in. We didn't get many, so you need, we, you need to get your dusters in they they are in and get your duster ordered if you don't have one yes clutter and I've been getting tough on clutter I have it's been fun to get rid of clutter I'm telling you it really is fun to get rid of clutter because it stands in the way of everything we're doing every time I get off a video I grab a bag and I try to fill it up I run through the house and do a 27 fling boogie trying to fill up stuff and get rid of it. And I've got a load of things that need to go to the car right now. So folks, have a good day. Let's get some stuff done. Do you have a menu plan? Have you ordered your calendar yet? <coughs> get your calendar. I love the color of this thing. It's the color of our, our carpet sweeper. What if you're chronically ill? Well, if you can get out of bed, you have to get dressed. And then you just set your timer and do a little bit at a time. 
do two minutes. I Some days I set my timer. This is how I did my weekly home blessing yesterday. I would set my timer for 15 minutes. I'd flip over a card. I'd go do it. It'd take me two minutes or less to do it. And then I would work on my fly lady stuff for the next day till the timer went off. And then I would get up and do it again. So I would do two minutes worth and then sit down and work. I got my steps in by six o'clock too. It's amazing how many steps you can get in when, when you're doing something consistently. I set my timer for 15 minutes and rest and then I get up and do two minutes. 15 minutes, I don't have three hands. 15 minutes and wow. But stickers are tricky. Well, if you don't want to use stickers, don't. But stickers make your ca calendar look fun. And I use... I'm about to wear these things out. I use little address stickers. They f exactly fit on the calendar to keep from making a mess on the calendar. So if I've got something important, it goes in red. If, um, you know, if something's going on with one of the grandchildren, I've got one for them. So may, uh, stickers make the calendar fun. And, you know, stickers are everywhere. You can get them on Amazon. You can get them at um Office supply stores, you can get them at Walmart. You can do this. You really can do this. So, have a good day. Get some stuff done. And the more you get rid of the clutter, the better off you're going to be. Because less, the less clutter you have in your house, the easier it's going to be to do your routines. It really is. It's going to be so much easier as you get rid of this clutter. Colored dots are good. Nope, it was sold out, but it's in stock now. We turned it on on Friday. Yep, we're ready to go. And my new book, The Chaos Cure, will be out in December. And you can, um, I don't have a link to it somewhere, but it goes out in the email once a week to tell you about it. I'll try to post a link later. Purple top, purple check. Yep. I had on a purple top yesterday, but it was a tank and I got rid of that tank because it started cutting right in under my arms and. You know, if something hurts me, I'm not going to wear it anymore. Just like a pair of shoes. If they hurt my feet, I'm never going to wear them again. So they go in the declutter bag. Yesterday, I decluttered clothes out of my closet. I decluttered old dish towels. What else did I declutter? I decluttered some house shoes that I don't like, that don't stay on my feet. So, folks, let's attack this clutter. We've got our declutter. I'm getting together a declutter game, and I'm getting together a pamper thing. So, you can go declutter something, and then you get to get a reward. I use the stickers so you don't bleed through your calendar because you can't use a Sharpie on your calendar. But with the stickers, you write on the stickers and put it on there. I, I use old bath towels for dogs too, but I only need three. One for the cat and two for the dogs. So you don't need a bunch of old bath towels. And those you need to declutter, you can take them to the Humane Society. They love having them. So everybody... Uh, Marla does to, I don't know what that means. I don't know what Rami is. Ha, somebody tell me what Rami is. I don't know what that is. I have no clue. I miss that. Okay, folks. Have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Okay, I'm absolving you of all guilt. No more guilt. We're going to. We're going to have fun. Got it?
Okay, somebody's name in the group. Okay. Bye.